Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back for another Dokkan Battle video for the Global Sign for more information about the third year anniversary. So we just had a major data download today, as you guys are probably well aware. If you're not, hey, we have a new data download that's available. Um, so we're going to go over and talk about everything that was downloaded, at least most of the stuff that was downloaded. There's a lot of new cards, pretty much all the stuff that you all expected if you've been following the JP version or if you've been following my channel for a while or any other major Dokkan Battle YouTuber. Um, anyway, just so you guys know, um, I did go to the doctor yesterday for the strep and everything. I didn't test positive for strep, but all my symptoms were like that of strep. And uh, because I had direct contact with someone who had strep throat, he put me on medicine, so I'm feeling like 100% better today. The, the throat's still a little bit raspy, but uh, it doesn't hurt anymore, so that's a good thing. Anyway, so um, we're jumping into this right now. The first things first is the new beginner's pack for the Pilaf's Trove. Um, it's actually really useful, for, especially for you brand new players. We're actually going to jump over real quick to take a look at it. I have my Dokkan battle up over here. As you see, I changed the screen and whatnot, so that way it looks pretty damn cool. That way I have all my, my uh, third year anniversary stuff. Okay, it's not actually cool, it's just different, but whatever. <laughs> um, as you see over here, this is the P-Loss pack, or at least this is the ticket that's available from the P-Loss pack. Uh, you get the one beginner's ticket, and you have actually good, useful items in here to choose from. Um, from here, you get... Super, you could choose Super Vegito, Super Gogeta, Tech, Super Saiyan 3, Gotenks, uh, Super Saiyan 3, Easy 8, Goku, uh, one of the starter uh, Super Saiyan Goku, Gohan, and Gotenks from the Broly that Dokkan Awaken, and they will get an Extreme Z Awakening. Um, you get Janemba, you can get Cell, you can get Full Power Frieza, you can get Buhan, um, and you can get Boo Kid, Kid Boo. Now, I'm not going to go over the full thing here. Um, like I'm, I'm going to do a full in-depth review of all of these and their easy A's and everything that's coming around. Um, but just from looking at this, I, I think personally, uh, Super Vegito, the agility Super Vegito is probably going to be one of the better units that you're going to want to choose from here if you don't have him. Uh, and even though there is the replacement Super Vegito, he tanks a lot better. So I still think he's a very good, very viable unit depending on how you run about it. So he's going to be probably my number one pick for here. Um, again, I'm going to do a full in-depth video, so that I'm just saying right now, that's all, that's what I think. Um, if you're going to choose anyone, he's probably going to be your number one choice. Uh, if you have the Intelligence Gogeta, don't even worry about the Strength one, because the Intelligence one uh, pretty much replaces him on everything. And there's really, honestly, as, as the game's going on, there's going to be less and less use of the Super Gogeta, because even though he's such an awesome card, unless he gets an Extreme Z Awakening, he's not going to play any part in, in the game anymore. I'm sad to say I know, but it's very true. Anyway, so um, that's that. We're going to go take a look at Pilaf's Trove real quick. We're just going to talk about the, the actual Beginner's Pack, too, with the contents of it, uh, just so we can go over it. This is the new Beginner's Pack. Obviously, you get one Beginner's Ticket. You get 15 Dragon Stones, which is actually pretty cool. Um, some medals and some training items. Actually, yeah, there you go. There are the training items. Uh, so honestly, it, for what it is, it's not that bad. For 10 bucks, it's actually a worthwhile pack. So if you guys are considering it, and you guys usually don't spend money on the game, uh, for $10, you get one guaranteed SSR of your choosing from that list I just showed you, and 15 Dragon Stones. Honestly, I think it, it, it's pretty decent pack for $10. But uh, let's go back over to the Reddit. So, uh, yeah, by the way, shout out to the Reddit for all this information. This is so awesome because everything's here that I need. <laughs> uh, we hit 800,000 likes on Facebook. That gave us right now, if you go and log in, you should get eight Dragon Stones inside of your gift box, five anniversary tickets, eight Platinum Hercule statues, and eight of each type of Platinum Turtle Shells. Um, I'm pretty sure that eight Platinum Hercule statues came out to 12 million Zenny, so that's actually a lot of Zenny. So, uh, yeah, you're pretty golden right there. Go ahead, log in and get those. And remember, this is still going on. We still have a couple days left of that campaign. Other information for data download, we have tickets for the Dokken Fest were made available. As you see over here, Dokken Festival A, Dokken Festival B. We also saw the third year anniversary, but we should have in the, in the gift box. In terms of release schedule, we have everything here. We see on 7.6 and 7.7, all of this stuff is going to be released. I'm assuming 7.6 is going to be the day that we log in, and then the banners are going to drop later on that night. Um, so that's probably what's going on over here. So like one's going to be the login bonus, one's going to be the actual date change. Uh, so get ready for our overloaded servers. Um, that's going to be on Friday and Saturday, so I think everything's going to go live Saturday morning. Kind of stinks for me because I'm going to be at work. Well, actually, I'll be coming home by the time everything's going live. So I will see if I can do a live stream for you guys, and uh, we can go and do some summons together. Again, I'm not going to be doing a lot of summons on this. Uh, I personally am going to be going for the physical uh, Vegito or the, go the physical Gogeta. Now, I will be doing a video on which banner you should focus on. If you're looking to only focus on one banner, I'm going to go over everything. But it really does come down to look at what's going to be on the banners when that information gets released and uh, base it off of what you already have and what you don't have. 
if unless you're list, uh, specifically trying to build a team but uh base it off of that i'm personally going for the physical banner because i don't have the uh go the, the intelligence gogeta uh so i want him he's the only 120 lead i don't have and i mean for the physical team while i have some really good physical units i wouldn't mind another good physical one um the other one the intelligence guy i mean i have ultra instinct goku and i have uh, the Super Saiyan 3 Bardock and LR Gohan. There's really no reason, no, no need for me to go and pull this guy, even though he's really awesome. There's really no need for me to have that. Uh, plus, he's a Batara category lead, and I already have one. And, I mean, as much as it's cool and everything, I don't need him. Uh, but, yeah, anyway, uh, we have new information. The Peronga missions are going to be available starting when the third-year anniversary gets released. Uh, there's going to be three sets of wishes like there typically are. It looks like we have all that information here. I'm going to do a separate video on that, so, you know, don't, don't uh, slander me for uh, not going over everything here. Uh, but this is going to be the Perunga missions that are going to be available. If you want to go ahead and check out the Reddit, it's from Perunga missions, uh, originally by I Seriously. I only translated them. So you go over there and check that out if you want to go ahead and see what, what's going to be the, what's, what you're going to have to do in order to get them. Um, Super Attack quotes are upcoming characters. Super Saiyan 3, Super Saiyan 3 Goku. Time to take things up a notch. <laughs> SSR Kid gone. I can fight too, you know. Uh, TUR version. Oh yeah, that, not to mention, not only are the Super Saiyan, uh, the LRs coming and the Super Saiyan 3, we actually have the Gohan event coming, um, the, the Extreme Z Awakening Kid Gohan, so that's going to be pretty damn cool as well. Um, going back over to that, attack and defense plus 12% per key orb obtained, attack plus 5% and key plus 1 addition per rainbow orb, okay, that's not that bad. Um, and then the other standard uh, four units that are on that banner, the Goku vs. Vegeta banner, um, or uh, events that it had. Uh, the SSR Goku, time to really cut loose, TUR Goku, die, and all that training goes out the window. Wow, that's interesting. And these are the ones I've been waiting for, the LRs, honestly. So I'm going to skip down the LR, Super Saiyan Goku, and Vegeta. Time to go all out. You have no idea what Saiyans are capable of, and I'm assuming this is when uh, he get, goes in. Oh, no, okay. Uh, you better be ready with that spirit bomb of yours, Kakarot. I'm co coming right up, Vegeta. So that's their um, colossal and mega colossal attack. And an LR Super Vegito, uh, both of his. Come on, I actually, um, I want to actually try. Choke this down if you can. That's awesome. And then the two LRs. Uh, I'm not holding back now. Get ready for pain. That's awesome, actually. Um, Final Flash Kamehameha. Okay, that's cool. I like that. I kind of wish, like, it would be awesome if they actually incorporated them screaming that out. But obviously, I don't think they would. Uh, LR Super Gogeta. Behold the ultimate fusion. And I've come to bury you. Okay, I kind of feel like they should have done something a little bit more dark there, but whatever. Um, but yeah, that's pretty awesome. So we have all that information. If you want to go check out the rest of these quotes, go ahead over to the Reddit essay quotes for all co upcoming characters, 7, 7, and 7. That's going to be awesome. Uh, both a new Super Dragon Blue and Premium Dragonstone Purple will be available for Global 3 year. Blue is through the Peel-Off Trove, which we already talked about, and Purple Premium uh, is one through a stone purchase, so that's not available yet, obviously. And the Purple should be the 120 lead, guys. So if you guys are well, looking forward to that, if you want that 120 lead, um, it's coming around the corners, and again, if I don't pull the uh, LR, in, oh, not the LR, the Intelligence uh, Gogeta uh, from my summons, I'm definitely going to be picking that up. I'm, I'm obviously going to pick up that and probably a couple sales packs so we can do some summons and actually have some luck. I'm really hoping I do pull the, the physical one, but I'm going to do a team building guide on that anyway. Um, so I'm pretty hyped about that. It does, again, look 7-7 at 10.30 p.m. Pacific time, which should be, um, I think, 2.30 in the morning Eastern time for us. So... Get ready for that. Again, I'll be home at 12, so I'll probably start a live stream around 1 a.m. 1 a.m. And I'll probably live stream and just go through some events and whatnot if there's anything that's that has gone live at the time. But um, yeah, that's pretty much it. The Super Saiyan 3 Goku. Um, by the way, don't I saw people like putting like a whole bunch of orbs into him. I don't really think that's worth the orb, but he is actually a really good support unit. Uh, so just keep that in mind. So Super Saiyan 3 category attack and defense plus thir uh, 33%. So he's actually going to be pretty damn good uh, on the Super Saiyan 3 team, uh, along with the, for the other support was going to be the Super Saiyan 3 GT Goku. So if you have both of them um, running uh, off of primary rotation, then you should be good. Like, you know, you have your Bardock and you have uh, one of the Vegetas and you have the Easy A Goku and whatnot. Um, with the either you have go tanks or you have any of the other Super Saiyan 3s that are really good and just have these guys in plus like, he's free to play so he's gonna be really good for that team if you happen to have it. but um yeah guys that's pretty much it there's really nothing else to go over as of right now again stay tuned because I will be doing more information uh, I have I will be going over the uh, JP side still the Pai Kuhan and the, the Super Saiyan Kaioken Goku uh, for the JP side since it's definitely different linking buddies and team building guides and whatnot so um, I'm going to hopefully get that released to you probably tomorrow um, or the day after that because tomorrow is actually technically what? Tomorrow's Wednesday. i got to get you my weekly grind video. So um, I'll, I'll be doing that team building guy because I know I promised that. I'm just waiting for it to update in, uh, in the Dokkan battle build. 
But anyway, guys, again, thank you for joining me here today, and I'll catch you all later, and let me know how hyped you guys are down in the comments below. Peace, and have a great day.